go down to Rome's. So training camp fights are just sort of a way of life uh, this time of year in the National Football League. Now, training camp fights, I mean, they're kind of dumb because right? generally, you usually it's not like the bottom picture where it's guys, uh, you know, just like fighting like it's a street fight. It's just dudes swing at swinging their fists at uh, dudes with helmets. It's just really stupid. But yeah, I mean, the, the weather's hot and guys are fighting for jobs, fighting for hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. And also, I mean, even though a lot of times they're teammates sick of hitting the same guy every single day and then joint practices that can ratchet I guess, I guess, ratchet it up a not uh, up a notch where it's us versus them and there's a lot of junk talk and there's a lot of contact and there's a lot of things going on so you know guys get after things especially uh if dirty kobe joseph is involved i i, I don't care that neighbors oh he started the fight okay just mm, mm. not saying i'm just saying not saying I'm just saying, uh, but also, so th- there's a great story uh, about Brock Lesnar when he was in training camp with the Vikings in 2004, where, uh, Nate, so there's a video uh, on YouTube about Nate Burleson recounting the, the story where Dante Culpepper got a cheap shot from a Chiefs player, uh, you know, when the Vikings uh, had joint practices when the Chiefs, when they used to be at River Falls for whatever reason, uh, and Actually, those River Falls practices were great. I remember going to them as a kid. Anyways, uh, Chiefs player cheap shot at Dante, and then Lesnar just came over and was like, Dante, which one hit him? Hit, hit you. And he Dante pointed him out, and apparently he went over and just like suplexed a dude. Now, supposedly there's video of this somewhere, right? Because I, I, I think that like K-Fan or Fox or, or someone, like there was video, but it's 2004, so you can't really... You can't really upload it uh, or or whatever. So I, I think that they were literally driving like the K-Fan van a bajillion miles an hour from River Falls back to the cities to get this thing on TV or on air. I don't know. I don't know, man. But uh, in general, like training camp fights are really stupid. And long story longer, Kevin O'Connell doesn't want to see any of them uh, at Vikings and Browns joint practices this week coming up on Wednesday, Thursday, ahead of their preseason game on Saturday. Uh, so this, this is what Kevin O'Connell said on the Pat McAfee show uh, via our guy Will Raggett over at Sports Illustrated. O'Connell has always made it clear that fighting won't be tolerated. His policy is that if you fight in a joint practice, you get kicked out and can't play in the upcoming preseason game <laughs> uh, if you were set to do so that's a pretty good deterrent when players are metaphorically fighting for rooster spots and roles uh, the vikings hosted the 49ers for joint practices in 2022 and both the titans and cardinals last year and all of those uh and and uh of those all occurred with minimal scuffling which it's kind of amazing when you think about it. Uh, quote, we're, we're both trying to simulate game reps, and you can't fight in a game, so why would you be able to fight in a practice, O'Connell said on the Pat McAfee show on Monday. That's a fair point because, yeah, I mean, you can get frustrated. Yes, this, that, or the other thing. But if you fight in a game, you're getting kicked out. Your your team's getting penalized. You're probably getting fined and, and, and or suspended. So it's just bad all the way around. Either way, like, hey, couple couple of moments of – Hey, also, hey, you get to pound your, your fist against someone else's face mask or helmet and probably break your fingers. Congratulations. Good job, man. Uh, what happens when you uh, when you do fight in a game? You get kicked out. Uh, I have kind of a standing rule. If guys fight, they're first and foremost going to get kicked off the field. Secondly, if they were set to play in the game, uh, trying to fight for a roster spot, they will no longer play in the game. And if they were a guy that was going to hold out of the game, they're probably going to strap on the pads and go play a little bit in that game that weekend. First off. Uh, so, so say Justin Jefferson and like Denzel Ward get into it uh, at joint practices. Is, is Justin Jefferson really going to have to play in the preseason game? Call cap. Call cap on that. Uh, that tends to be enough to hold off those guys who may be thinking about it. But at the same time, you don't want to take out the competitive side of it, right? So basically, it, it comes down to control. Like you want to be physical. You want to talk some ish. You want to play your game. Uh, but also, I mean, there's like le- legitimate players in this league that are just trying th- that aren't as physically talented and are just trying to get into a fight. I mean, basically, they're trying to get into uh, the better uh, player's head and bring them down to their level. Because I mean, a lot of players like if you talk junk to them, uh, they, they kind of collapse. They're kind of off of their game, and then they're focused on beating that person versus doing their jobs. Right? So. Cortland Finnegan comes to mind. Uh, but also, so Kevin O'Connell's talk about, hey, uh, if you fight, you get kicked out, and then you're not going to play. Well, 
I specifically remember, like, literally like two weeks ago, Jalen Redmond got kicked out of practice, and then he played 25 snaps against the Raiders, had three tackles, looked pretty damn good. So, I don't know. Maybe it's just a, a joint practice rule, or or maybe it's like uh, O'Connell's rule last year. was like, hey, if you fumble, you're coming out of the game, and then Alexander Madison continued to be running back one. Who knows, man? But, like I said, fighting is really stupid uh, in in training camp in general and joint practices writ large. So, uh, I'm glad that O'Connell addressed it, and hopefully the Vikings are smart about it and go from there. But also, this is, isn't this just like a, a setup for the Vikings and Browns to have like a biblical fisticuffs out there? Like the Battle of Kene is just going to be out there? Who knows? Who knows, man? Uh, anyways, uh, Kevin O'Connell, no fighting. No fighting. A lesson in your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.